My name is Rhonda, Rhino Virus, and uh, oh, if you've ever had a cold, that's me, me and my sisters. <laughs> There are so many other names like um, virus, uh, bacteria, protozoa, fungi. I knew a fungi once. And we're all different, uh, but we all cause some kind of disease. So, you know, uh, people call us germs. I love to travel. I've been everywhere. Uh, I've been uh, on the elevator buttons, on the, the Empire State, the door handles at Versailles. Oh! and the Hanging Gardens of Epiglottis. Ooh, ooh that was so fancy. <laughs> oh yeah, air travel is great. I mean, catching an airborne droplet on a, on a good cough or a sneeze, and I could really go the distance. I mean, like, shooting across the room. I mean, it's so great. I just, I just hate the landing. The best way to get around is still person-to-person -person contact, and that's the same for every germ nowadays. A handshake, a nose nuzzle, a wet slobbery kiss. <laughs> you know, if people, people didn't try to touch their faces, I don't know how I'd get around. Let me tell you something. Hand washing is the most dangerous thing for us germs. You lather up your hands with soap, you rub them together, you keep them under the tap for 20 seconds, you're dead. I don't know anyone who can survive that. Ah, but. If you have a host who isn't very good at washing and doesn't rinse very long, <laughs> there are so many places to hide. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be telling you this. <laughs> but I can hide in between the fingers, under the fingernails, or on the tops of the hands. Ah, wherever there's kids, there's always great ways to travel. Like the nurseries in church. Oh, so many drips and drops to move around in. And, and parents, they make it so easy for me. You gotta go to church. All your friends will be there. It's like Grand Central Station, lots of destinations. <laughs> Oh, once at church, I was catching a ride on this little boy when this big hunk of a man comes up and shakes his little hand right after this little guy had wiped me out of his nose. He was the perfect host. He never washed his hands. I took to him right away. Oh, it was like a fever. <laughs> Actually, it was a fever. But, you know, after a while, I started thinking things were going wrong. I mean, he started washing his hands and using hand sanitizer. I was beginning to think he was trying to get rid of me. Started out with chicken soup. And then he used the hardest stuff, like the little white pills and, and that red stuff in a bottle. Ugh. And then he quit going to work. He'd just stay home and rest. I mean, it was tragic. I tried to get away, but he just kept sneezing into a tissue. What was I supposed to do? And then... One night, I just slipped away, caught a ride with the chicken soup delivery guy. Oh yeah, there's a dark side to our community. Not everybody's as nice as I am. Take hand, foot, and mouth disease. When he shows up, you're getting sores on your mouth, you're getting a sore throat, and you're getting rashes on your hands and feet. And he's contagious, like forever. Oh, and then there's that hoity-toity Miss Mercer. She may be called methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, whatever. She's a staph infection. She's always taking advantage of open cuts and scrapes to make her grand entrance. Listen, she's been around so long, she's become hard and difficult. I mean, antibiotics don't even have an effect on her. She's, she's unpleasant, interfering, nasty. She's a, well, well, you know what I'm talking about. CMV, you mean cytomegalovirus, or as I affectionately call him, Mr. Megalomaniac. <laughs> yeah, I've seen him around. You don't want to mess with that virus. If a mom is expecting and, and she gets infected, her baby can have birth defects. I mean, I mean, they could be born deaf or blind or have mental handicaps. I'm not one to say too much, but CMV deserves his 20 seconds under the tap. But you know what? He can be shut down just as easily as the rest of us. You know, if people wash their hands 
steer clear of bodily fluids, wash and rinse their children's toys, clean their surfaces with a good cleaner, he's, he's shut down. He shrivels up and blows away. Gone with a wind, baby. Wash that germ right out of your hair. You know, a lot of people are making it harder for us to live the dream and go viral. I mean, even nurseries aren't very welcoming anymore. I mean, people, when they get sick, they're staying home. They're keeping their kids home. Sometimes it just gets lonely. But, you know, you, you try to stay positive, have something to look forward to. <laughs> like flu season <laughs> or the cold winter boogies <laughs> I love those I love those my name is Rhonda Rhinovirus you can call me a germ if you'd like to I love to travel I love to get up close and personal with people I'd love to come and visit I'm a virus I'm a microorganism and I'm a communicable disease